Hi. Okay. Ooh, hi. Hi, girls. Hey. I just knew everybody was out enjoying their holiday weekend. Ooh, thank you. Get into the filter. Thank you. So, I'm not going to be on here long. I just wanted to show you all a shopping reveal that I did for a client. And I'm really excited about this. She is um, she's a plus size client. Uh, she's a tech executive and she's going back into the office. Um, she has like a bohemian style, but she's like a wallflower. She is really into, you know, trying to hide and conceal. And I was really excited to shop for her because a lot of people feel as though, you know, if you're plus size, you should not be stylish or you shouldn't have the same um, style options available to you. And I really like to go against that. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. <laughs> yes i know right so i want to show you some things that i got for her so again she is definitely into like floral flowers bohemian style um but she does a lot of she conceals herself a lot she wears a lot of comfy cozy clothes and that's the way that she described her wardrobe and i'm just like no this your clothes these are your clothes your clothes represent your personality and who you are and they should definitely not be cozy and comfortable and quiet your personal style represents who you are so when you step into the room your clothes need to announce yourself and she just got this great position um she has to commute out of state and she is also a team lead so if you're a leader you know people need to be able to take you seriously they need to be able to trust you what you say what you do and a lot of what you wear conveys that message so if you're wearing comfortable clothes, you know, your shoulders are down, you're not comfortable in the stuff that you're wearing, it's really hard for people to take you seriously. So I'm trying to change all of that. And another thing, another misconception about women who are plus size, you know, you still have a shape. Whatever your your body type is, you know, you still need to dress for that. So you're not just plus size or whatever the negative terms that people use for it. You know, you still have a shape, you still have unique curves, and you need to dress for that. So I was able to identify what her body type is. Uh, therefore, that's what I was dressing. So I'm just about to go through some of the things and I'm gonna show everything. Um, and she got a spring, spring, summer capsule wardrobe and I wanted to get her pieces for in the office, also for the summer. So starting off with basics. Everybody needs basics. I don't care what you do what your hobbies, what your budget is, you always need basic pieces because these are, your basics are what tie all your wardrobe items together. So I got her some belts. She had no belts in her wardrobe and I got her some camis. These are good layering pieces for under your blazers, under your um, under your cardigans, under your long sleeve shirts. They, they're just in this, they're an essential that is needed. So I got her these. And I also got her this asymmetric shirt. Um, and this is good because her body type is more like inverted triangle. You know, she's like heavier at the top. So when you get items with these lines, it kind of creates a shape for you. Um, it conceals without hiding. A lot of people who have things that they're insecure about, they tend to get larger items, bigger items, because they think that it's hiding what they're insecure about, but really it's underlining. So you should definitely get clothes that fit you, but you just want to accentuate the things that you like about your shape and then we can conceal. So this asymmetric shirt does that because she is top heavy, um, which, you know, her bust is bigger than her hips. The lines on an asymmetric shirt, they draw your eyes this way. And plus, this is perfect for this weather. And it's super cute. You know, anybody who follows me, you know I love a good white shirt. So this will be, this is a good piece that I feel will be in rotation. Cookouts, it goes with everything. Um, these are other basics. I'm going to order everything is sorted. But it's a reason for it. So when you have enough basics, you can mix and match them with your other pieces. I know I already said that. Um, this is a good office shirt. The atmosphere in her office is pretty casual. 
But just because it's casual doesn't mean you're just going to be wearing t-shirts and sweats when you're going to the office, especially if you're a leader. You still want to look pulled together, even if you don't necessarily want to have on like a three-piece suit and a tie. Um, so this was good for her. The shape of this is long. So when you are top heavy or if your hips and butts don't necessarily balance out, it's good to get longer items because everything um, is, is everything is visual. So where you draw your eyes, pe where people eyes go, that creates the illusion of what it is that we're trying to create. So this is a good tunic to have. Another good layering piece with shorts, leggings, throw a jean jacket on it. Um, wear it into the office and you can also wear it on the weekend. Also, I don't believe in just like having an office wardrobe or a vacation wardrobe. I think all of your pieces should be versatile and they should mix and match with everything that you have. So don't just buy one off pieces that you can only wear to one place. They should definitely go with other things. And again, this is another asymmetric shirt. It's a simple shirt, but the way the, the design and the cut of it it draw your, draws your eyes to different locations. So if you want to conceal something, you highlight another area. That's another style trick. Um, I got her this. It's a sheer turtleneck. I uh, definitely wanted to get her some bolder pieces because, again, I think that you should stand out with whatever it is that you wear. I know it's kind of scary where you're used to wearing subtle dark muted colors and you're trying to hide but i thought this was a good piece um and it's sheer and she has her camis that she can layer with and because like the weather is so weird this is another piece that can go through different seasons again another tunic it has the wrap effect. So wrap dresses, wrap shirts, anything wrap is also another style hack to create the, the shape that you want. It create automatically creates a waist in whatever it is that you're wearing, um, but it also glides over your body and it doesn't necessarily hug or highlight areas that you may be self-conscious about. So oh, anything wrap is, is an essential for whatever your body type is, whatever your lifestyle is, because it's so multifaceted. Um, and again, she does like bolder colors, even though she wasn't wearing them. When I was asking her, like, hey, you know, what are the things? Oh, big poop problems. Um, you know, when I talk to clients, like, what are things that you like that you're drawn to? That is typically where and what your personal style is. Everybody doesn't necessarily go and tap into those things, but that's how I kind of like pull it out. So I know she likes bright colors. Um, and she does have a casual work setting and this is summertime. This is like a fun bright item that you can definitely wear This is another piece I was excited about I like the color on it um, The way I don't know if you can see all the design detail of it. It's an oversized blazer Structure, I think everybody needs a blazer especially if you're going into the office whether it's casual or not you can wear this with t-shirts, you can wear this to brunch, but the waist, um, the darts and everything in the waist, it, it goes in. So again, we're still creating an hourglass shape for her and still keeping in mind of, you know, her bust and, you know, just so she can move. But I really love this blazer. I would definitely wear this. Knits. I love this knitted dress. Um, definitely something that can be dressed up. Oh, my lighting looks weird. <laughs> definitely something that can be dressed up or dressed down. But I thought this was a good layering piece to add into her wardrobe too. She could wear it in the office and she could wear it um, on the weekend. Let's see some of these comments. Hi. Ooh. this linen it's a linen skirt i thought the print was super cute um it has a split in it so again splits are other design details if you have a split you're drawing your eyes to this part so she loves her legs and you know i think you should show them all she's a mom she's a wife but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can be cute sexy and still be professional and 
this tank that I showed you. This was like one of the layering pieces for this. Um, the white shirt, you know, you can wear it multiple ways. This was another wrap dress. And again, you could dress this up, dress this down, but because she, because of what her role is, I do think she should take more of a, a professional lead with what it is that she wear. But I don't, doesn't, I don't think that she necessarily needs to be uncomfortable and outside of the realms of what the dress code is. But again, how you show up when you get dressed is how people will address you, how serious they're going to take you. Um, so I think she should always be on. That's my personal opinion. I don't believe in being overdressed. This is another cute piece that I love. Slip skirt. I don't know if any of you downloaded um, my spring capsule uh, checklist. This is one of the things that's on there. Can never go wrong with the pencil skirt. Um, I thought this color was nice and the materials. So a lot of people go shopping when the seasons change. They feel like they need to buy all this stuff. Well, really you're doing like a wash and a wash and rent a wash and repeat of what it is that you wear so just because the seasons are changing you're still wearing the same items but you just will change the the texture or the material the fabric of the items um i got her some jeans some workwear casual pieces um i was really excited about these mom jeans and again they have the cute detailing so you see this again this is something that's going to draw your eyes a different way and because whatever your style your personal style is whatever your body size is you know you can still find things that fit that style for you you gotta do a little research you gotta understand what it is that your body type is that's why i really press people to like know what their measurements are but whatever your size is you can still try different trends you don't necessarily have to do simple muted plain stuff um you just need to know what your body type is so you can try the trend but you just need to find it in a cut that amplifies what your personal what your body type is Learn. okay let me know if you have any questions or comments Yeah, I got a lot of skirts and tops just so that they can be mixed and matched in, in the office and also on the weekend. Oh, let me show this nice item. So this is maxi skirt. It's made out of like jersey material. Um, so it's stretchy, but it's thick. The reason why I like this so much for her is because of this. It's like a scrunchy effect. Um, I call it's really called ruching. And this is a good another style tip you have something that you want to camouflage the ruching creates more illusions um so your eyes are going to be drawn to one part where the ruching takes place the jersey material glides over curves it you know so it stretches but it doesn't cling so this is another good good item to have in her wardrobe and again she could definitely dress this up with heels she could dress it down with sneakers. Oh, shoes. Let me show shoes. So, again, she's doing a commute. She likes comfortable, casual shoes. But just because just because you want something comfort, comfort, comfortable doesn't mean you necessarily have to let go of style. So, I got her these mules. Um, and it's almost like a, think like a wicker material, but they're still leather, they're structured. She can wear these in the office, out the office. They have a cute heel detail, so they're not so flat. Um, but they will still elevate a look because, you know, they almost give the illusion of a loafer. White sneaker. I'm a, a super, super fan of white sneakers. I think they everybody needs a good white sneaker she's going into the office you know so she still looks put together it's a good leather material but it has like a little cheetah print so it gives it a little flair this 
so that is all i'm gonna actually take her her items tomorrow so hopefully everything fits and she loves it but i'll definitely come back with an update on how everything works so let me know if anybody has any questions for me before i jump off do i sell them um no so i don't i don't sell clothing um i sell little black bags which is all of the things that you need if you're having like a wardrobe malfunction so you know you might pop a button off or um you might rip something it has all the things in it sewing kit um sewing kit boob tape measuring tape this is really big because i've been talking about like how you need to know what your body type is the only way to really know that is to measure measure yourself like actually physically measure yourself to know your inches and then you can determine what that is but no at this point i'm not selling garments or clothing or shoes oh thank you i'm glad that you liked it um i'm gonna send you some of these items to see like to get more of a feel oh so if you go to the link in my bio under Nordstrom Picks, you can see some of the items and you can shop them. They're like all put together so you don't have to search through 20 pages on a website um, to purchase some of them. Okay, let me know. Anybody have any other questions or comments before I jump off? Doesn't look like it. Thank you, and I'll make sure I update y'all on what she thinks of everything. Bye.